So uh, basically what we're going to do in this case, again, as I mentioned, if you're multiplying or if you're dividing, it doesn't matter. You're going to multiply or divide your, your numbers here. And then you're going to multiply or, uh, I'm sorry, or yeah, basically you're going to multiply or divide your powers of 10. So in this case, I have 7 times 3 times the 10 to the fifth times 10 to the fourth. Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully the multiplying and dividing of the negative number or the real number should not be a, uh, a problem. I mean, here, so 7 times 3 is 21 times. Now, remember, when we're multiplying powers of exponents, you're going to um, add the powers. So that's going to be 10 to the ninth, right? Um, and if you were dividing, then you would subtract. subtract the powers, right? So multiply, you add, subtract to divide. Now, on the next thing I want to let you guys know of is Basically, this number looks like this. 21 with nine zeros, right? Because here's the decimal point, so we have nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does anybody remember what the problem is with this answer? Anybody want to raise their hand and give it a shot? Yes, sir? Yeah, your A, this number has to be between 1 and 10, right? So if the decimal point was originally here, I need the decimal point to be originally here, right? So instead of moving it nine spots to the right, how many spots to the right, if I move it to over here, do I have to do? If I move the decimal point from here to here, now to go to all the way over there, how many spots to the right do I need to move? Oh, ten. 10. So well, let's change it. So that is the same thing as 2.1 times 10 to the 10th power. Again, whenever you're multiplying and dividing, this number your A, what we call it sometimes, has to be between 1 and 10. Okay? Has to be between 1 and 10.